Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my fall candle collection slash inventory. Not sure what to call it just yet, but it's basically all of the fall candles that I own. So I have some Bath and Body Works, I have some Yankee, and I have some Goose Creek. So if you guys want to see everything that is in my collection, then just keep watching. I do just want to preface this. Um, I actually got my wisdom teeth out last weekend, so my cheeks aren't swollen anymore, but I am having a little difficulty talking still. So please don't mind that. And that's kind of why I didn't have um, a video two videos out last week so just letting you guys know I'm doing very well though um, it actually went better than expected um, I had little to no swelling and um, little to no pain so it went really really well um, but anyways let's get in to the candles so I just want to get the little ones out the way and we'll do those first so I have two single wicks from Bath and Body Works I have the pumpkin spice latte which I have burned a few times smells definitely like coffee for sure um it doesn't have the cleanest burn but also that might be on me because the first time i didn't know to burn it more than two hours um so i'm sure it'll even itself out after i burn it for a while the notes on this are fresh espresso pumpkin pie spice whipped cream and sprinkling of cinnamon sugar this one smells really good it's a very very light candle though but it does smell good and then i have autumn beautiful beautiful yellow um, packaging this is bright red gala apple juicy fig and eucalyptus leaf i don't usually get these like fresh scents but i did get this one because it smells really good and i usually like to get at least one fresh scent per season this one it definitely i can smell the like the fig is that what it is fig and apple smells really good i've only burned it once and like i said this was before i knew to burn these single wicks you're actually supposed to burn them upwards of two hours for them to pull out correctly so just so you know don't do like i did but i'm sure it'll correct itself after a while but it smells really good and it is super super strong and then the last like mini candle that i have is actually from hobby lobby it is the white pumpkin vanilla candle and it's just in this little bitty jar um, I think it says how much it was on the bottom. $2.99. I got this last fall and I have burned it quite a bit. It smells really good. It kind of reminds me of, what's the one from Bath and Body Works? Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow? Kind of reminds me of that. Um, yeah, it smells really good. I use this primarily in my bathroom. So those are all the minis and now let's get to the Bath and Body Works ones because I know that's what everybody came to see, right? Yeah, that's what I would come to see. So I'll start off with my ones from last year first. So this first one is from, I think I bought this at Candle Day last year and this is just leaves. It has some really cute little characters on it or I guess little like forest creatures, very cute. This is crisp red apple golden nectar and warm clove spice. This one's another like heavy hitter and it's a very fresh scent. Again, I don't burn this too much because sometimes those can make me have headaches and it has to be like kind of cold outside for me to want to burn this, but it smells very, very good. Yeah, I definitely, definitely love this, but I have to be in the mood to burn it. Next, I have this one that I bought, um, I think this year's semi-annual sale, but it is from last year. And this is pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. We all know pumpkin pecan waffles, but this packaging is very beautiful. I think this was for Thanksgiving last year, and I have burned it quite a bit. Um... This one's another like very, very strong scent. It's very strong. Um, like I would light this downstairs in our living room and it smelled up the whole house. We do have an open concept house, but it smelled up the whole house. So, and it smells really, really good. It definitely smells like, like maple syrup and waffles. Yeah, for sure. I don't really get any spice out of this though gonna be honest but it smells really good and then another one that i got at sas is blueberry pie this one everybody loves i've been trying to get through this one just because i feel like i won't want to burn blueberry pie during christmas time um it is juicy blueberries flaky crust and sugar crystals yeah it smells like an edible blueberry um this is how far i've gotten on it and 
Yeah, it smells so good. It smells like a blueberry pastry. It's really, really yummy. So I'm, I'm like sad to burn through it, but I know that I need to because I won't want to burn it past November probably, so. Okay, the next few I bought together. So this is Pumpkin Donut Shop. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. So gorgeous. And this is glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices sprinkled with powdered sugar. Oh, it smells like donuts. It smells so good. And this is how far I've kind of burned on it. Um, it I don't know why, but this, there's like this section of wax that like didn't go down. So I don't know what that's about, but yeah, I've burned it um, probably two or three times. It smells really, really good. It smells like powdered sugar donuts. It smells so good. This one I could see burning year round. I definitely don't get any pumpkin spices out of it. It just tastes like, smells like powdered sugar donut. The next one is pumpkin peanut brittle from this year. I really was sad that I missed it on this last year, so I made sure to pick one up this year. And I actually traded out the lid on this one. It didn't come with this lid. It came with the same lid as pumpkin donut shop, which is these little pumpkins. Oh, it's upside down. These little pumpkins. But I liked this lid better, so I put it on here. It doesn't look pretty. Yeah, it looks pretty, but this smells so good. Um, the notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. This um, smells like peanut butter Ritz crackers or peanut butter on Ritz crackers. I know it's what a lot of people have said and I definitely, definitely get that those two like notes out of this. It has a beautiful, beautiful burn. Like look, there's hardly any residue on it. I've probably burned this maybe three or four times, um, maybe five or six actually, but man, it smells really, really good. Like I never want to blow it out whenever I'm burning it. It just smells so good. Yeah. So if you like that kind of smell of like Ritz cracker, peanut butter, peanut butter, wait, Ritz crackers dipped in peanut butter. There we go. Then you'd definitely like this. It smells so good. The next one that I have is probably the newest one that I got. Yeah. Um, and this is in cinnamon Irish cream. Oh, I love the packaging on this. This is another one that I was really sad I didn't get last year um, because I love cinnamony scents. So I'm really glad to have this this year. Here's the lid. And this is cinnamon spice liqueur, Irish cream, and French vanilla. So, okay. I think it was Kimball, Kimball Renee said that this smells like play-doh and it kind of does smell like play-doh but it smells really good it's very spicy and i can get the vanilla and the irish cream like i smell every single note plus a little bit of play-doh <laughs> but it smells so good if you are a fan i've only burned this like once i think if you are a fan of cinnamon scents this is like super cinnamon and it's not I say it's red hot cinnamon. Mm, yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> yeah, it smells like that um, cinnamon gum. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, this is like a super cinnamon candle and I love cinnamon scents. So I actually have one back there that's burning. I'll show you guys a close up of that one, but it is champagne, apple, and honey. And I do think that it smells exactly like the um body care in champagne apple and honey so if you guys like that body care you're gonna love that candle so i actually had to move the camera because i had it i had it propped up on this candle so this is the only halloween candle that i have and the only one that i've ever actually bought from bath and body works and it is hot cocoa and scream so i got the one with the beautiful wraparound packaging just because i thought this looked beautiful it is so pretty and I love the little witch on it. So this is deep dark chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mischievous mini marshmallows. So it's very similar to hot cocoa and cream, except it's dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate, which I don't know if I really believe that, but maybe, I guess. I've burned this a few times. Um, it is kind of city, but I don't really mind that too much. Um, yeah, it definitely smells like chocolate. I love it. 
like chocolate and marshmallows. It smells super good. So if you want a hot cocoa scent, this is definitely hot cocoa. And I know they have like the actual hot cocoa and cream out now for the winter. So yeah, this is a really good one. And actually that's the last of the Bath Body Works ones. Now let's go into Yankee. I actually only have one Yankee candle and I got it from TJ Maxx. It is the Home Classics Yankee Candle in Vanilla Chai. It's really, really pretty. Um, let's see how big this is. It's 22 ounces. So it's a 22 ounce jar. And at TJ Maxx, it was $9.99. I've burned this quite a few times. This was probably the first fall candle that I bought back in like July. And it's very light scented. But I would say it's exactly what it says. It's vanilla and chai. That's what it smells like. It's very sweet and like, not headache inducing like do you know when a candle is so strong it, it makes you have a headache at least for me that happens a lot but um this one i don't think would ever give me a headache i could burn it all day and it wouldn't do that but it smells very smooth it smells like chai it smells like i'm drinking chai so this one is really really good to me um i burned it quite a bit at the beginning i probably burned this like eight times and it's only gone like from here to here so this is gonna last me a really long time, but I'm okay with it because this is like a very good scent to me. So in comparison, I'll show you, I have a Goose Creek 24 ounce. So here's the size comparison, just slightly bigger. Um, so let's move on into Goose Creek candles. So if you didn't see, I just did a Goose Creek candle order a few weeks ago and I'll link the video up in the eye above but I picked up five candles. I've never purchased from Goose Creek before, but I've seen a lot of good reviews. So I was pretty excited to pick something up and it was a half off sale. So the first thing that I got is this 24 ounce in pumpkin pie. I really enjoy the packaging on Goose Creek because the candle, I mean like the packaging usually represents the candle really, really well. So pumpkin pie though, to me, I thought this would be my favorite but it actually isn't. I don't know. Because it doesn't really smell like pie to me. I, I don't get like a bakery sweet scent from it. It just kind of smells like spicy pumpkin to me. So I don't know. I was expecting a little more. I was expecting like brown sugar and like crust from it, but I really just get like spicy pumpkin, which is not bad, but it's not really what I wanted out of it. So I don't know. And these are going to last me a really, really long time. So I'm kind of scared about that. Um, the next thing is white icing cinnamon roll. So this isn't necessarily a fall um, scent, but like I'll definitely burn this year round, but I wanted to include it because I kind of got it in the fall. Um, this one smells so good. Even my mom likes it. My mom does not like candles like at all. We had this burning downstairs and she like loved it. So it really smells like cinnamon rolls. I get like total bakery notes out of this when I burn it. Not really when I smell it on cold, but when we burnt this, it smelled so good. I burnt it maybe two times. I mean, it really hasn't moved that much, but yeah, it smells so good. There's a lot of like um, spice in it and icing. So I definitely get all the notes of bakery icing and like the cinnamon it smells so good so this one i'm really happy to have and i know that i'll have it a long time and i'll enjoy it so that'll be a year-round scent and the last one in a jar i have the toasty pumpkin toddy this is probably my favorite run one from the goose creek order that i did and this one smells like cranberry cider almost it's like cranberry pumpkin cider smells so good it's like a super fresh scent it definitely smells like a drink it smells like apple apple cider pumpkin -y cider cranberry cider i don't know but it smells so good when it was burning i was like literally in love with the scent also let me touch on throw of these so far these goose, goose creek candles have been like medium throws um i'd say this one was like pretty much medium um, the cinnamon roll one we burned downstairs and it was pretty like heavy scented so I would say this is like medium high and then the pumpkin pie one maybe medium low I didn't really smell this one too much um, and I was kind of disappointed in the scent of that one but that's okay um, and then I have two of these three wicks from them and these are 14.5 ounces in comparison to the Bath and Body Works ones which are 
14.5 ounces. So these are actually the same size. That's good. Um, this one is fried apple sugar. Beautiful, beautiful packaging on this one. I love these little like fritters down here. Beautiful. Um, they don't have notes on the bottom, but why am I doing that? <laughs> but um, this one burned beautifully. Look how gorgeous. I just burned it yesterday and I burned it for like four hours it was so good so smelling this one cold it has kind of an artificial um like almost like a gummy bear apple um smell so when i smelled it on cold i was kind of scared that like it would smell like plastic um because it smells really artificial and kind of like plastic on the lid so i don't know what that was about but when i burned it i did not smell that at all i smelled like sugary apples and like maple syrup and cinnamon like so so good and this one i had like my door open for a while and my mom walked in the door and she was like oh victoria's got a candle going i was like oh what do you think it is she goes i don't know it smells good it smells like vanilla like she doesn't know the difference between the candles but um it's good that she thought it smelled good and it traveled all the way downstairs so i think this was definitely a heavy hitter a medium high throw and yeah, this one smelled really, really good. I was not expecting the scent it gave off from just smelling it on cold, but this one actually smells really good. So the last one I actually haven't burnt yet, but it is Let's Stay Home. And I think this one could be a fall scent, but it also could be like a year round scent. Um, this is supposed to be like chamomile tea, um, latte and something else, but it's a very unique scent, something I've never smelled before. It does kind of remind me of like blankets like if i was under a blanket um like on a cozy day that's what it smells like to me i definitely get the chamomile tea yeah it just smells really really cozy to me um so there's that one and with that that finishes off my fall candle collection so in total i have let me count hold on 16 okay in total oh no 17 in total i have 17 fall candles so that's kind of a lot i hope i can get through a few more before i start buying the um holiday candles that came out um at bath and body works but yeah that is everything for my fall candle collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye